it's the first McKinley Maslin game that I'm a part of. And um, we're out there an hour before game time. Our kickers are just warming up before they're doing their stuff. And a woman um, who I recognized had been at a lot of our practices motions me over. And I have a little bit of time, I can break free. So I jog on over and, you know, yes, can I, can I help you? What, <laughs> what do you want? And she said, well, my husband and I have gone to 35 straight McKinley Maslin games and he passed away, but I have his ticket here. What should I do with it? And this is an hour before the game. And, it, and my first thought is if she'd have given it, you know, talked to me yesterday, I would have found hundreds of people to take that ticket. Um, so I said, well, maybe you could um, ask one of his friends, give him a call and, and see if they can come down on short notice and share the game with you. And she said, yes, well, I, I thought about that, but I think they're still all at the funeral. I would tell that story sometimes speaking at McKinley. And then later, I would say, now this is the important part too, I would say to the group, now I just made that story up. That really didn't happen. But invariably, somebody would come up to me, you know, from the crowd, oftentimes a woman, who would come up and say, you know, before you said you made that story up, I thought that was Lily Parsons who probably did that. <laughs> you know, so they completely believed the story and thought that was a very normal thing for McKinley fans to do. 